So as some of you may or may not know, for the month of January, me and Hannah have been doing this dry run thing, where we've stopped drinking, something which I adore, and also taken on a running challenge, which was a mistake really, where we would try and run 60 miles each in the month of January. And the challenge is now complete, we've done it, we've run the full 60, we've avoided the pints all month long, and we've learned a fair few things along the way. Now I won't go into detail about all of those things right here, I'll save that for a blog post that nobody will read, but there is one thing I do want to talk about, one thing that has led me back down this path, towards this, YouTube. So as it turns out, running until your ankles can only be described as glass and laying off the booze for the first time in nine years can reveal some very interesting things about your personality. Well, it did for me anyway, and it did it very quickly, very suddenly, and very painfully. See, this was the first time since I was 18 that I'd given up drinking for any extended period of time. That's nearly a decade of drinking at the very minimum at least once a week. And towards the end of that decade, the drinking for me became a much more regular, much more heavy thing. And quite surprisingly for me, going completely cold turkey and not being able to have a beer or a cocktail has made me sharper and a whole lot more aware of who I am and what kind of an individual I am. And that individual is firstly a coward, and secondly, perhaps more alarmingly for me, a bit of a quitter. Now what I did was I used booze to dull down that side of my personality, hiding those negative thoughts and emotions behind a haze of Heineken and never actually dealing with them. That turn led into more regular drinking where the booze hid the negativity and I never confronted the negativity because the booze wouldn't let me. It was an entirely vicious cycle that I'd fallen into. Booze used to be a reward for me, something I earned. Instead, I began drinking because I'd made it to the end of the day, or because it was a Wednesday, or because my day was shit, or even because my day was good. Basically, any reason I could muster up would be enough to have a drink. But with that cloud of ale lifted, the coward and the quitter within me confronted me. And they shook me a little because I could see what a huge influence they had on my life. I could see the worst of me. The coward was the guy within me that was placated by fear, who'd happily let the rot set in rather than take on the unknown. And then there's the quitter, and he's a bigger cunt than the coward. This guy would be the one to pull me back after I'd shaken off the coward and taken on something new, something challenging. When that challenge got too hard, there he was, the quitter coaxing me into submission, making me tap out before I'd even thought about changing positions. I suppressed the existence of these two arseholes in my brain with strong liquor and fine wine, to the point where they pretty much faded away. In their place though was something entirely more self-destructive. I made excuses. Every time I've tried something new and then later on stopped doing that something because I said I didn't enjoy it anymore was complete bollocks. I was lying. What actually happened was I'd get to the point where I'd be competent at something, maybe even good at it, but instead of taking it that step further and pushing a little harder, I'd just quit. I'd simply find something too hard and just give up. The quitter within me would win. And to excuse myself from any responsibility and to deny the fact that I am a quitter, I've constructed this defense mechanism where I tell myself and other people that I have stopped doing something because I just don't enjoy it. I've done this with every single thing in my life. I've done it at university with photography. I've done it with the video game journalism I was pursuing a few years ago. I've done it here with my YouTube channel. And more recently, I've done it with this dumb fucking novel idea I've been trying to write. I got 25,000 words in and that now amounts to dick all because the creative process of writing that got too hard for me and I just gave in. And now realizing this, realizing that these two dickheads exist inside me, has been kind of life-changing, or at least I believe it will be in the long run. I've begun to accept the pain of hard work, of hard effort, and of fear. Something that's probably been ground into me because of all these stupid fucking runs that I'm doing. Every single step of those runs was painful. It urged me to give up. I just wanted to tell people I wasn't enjoying it anymore and that it wasn't making me happy. But then where's the success in that? Where's the joy? It's non-existent, it's not there. And if I hadn't stuck that challenge, then all of that money we raised for charity would have been for nothing. I could have let the coward and the quitter win, but now I can see them, I can see them clearer than ever. I know exactly where they are and exactly what move they're gonna make because, well, they are me. And already that recognition has bared its fruits. I feel freer to pursue those creative things I once locked away. Realising all that it really takes to get the motor running on those creative outlets again is a bit of perseverance and bravery, 
has unlocked those doors that were never locked in the first place. And that's why I'm here now, doing it all again, doing it better than I did before, by putting in a little bit more effort to take it to the next level. Because I know that I can, and quite frankly, I was. Those last two videos I made back in October 2018 were my strongest, leaning into a style I'd been chasing for a while. And I was there, I had it right in the palm of my hand, but I just pussied out. I stopped, I gave up. Why? Because it got a little too hard. And that trailer that I released last week, or at this point, probably a few weeks ago, was really the culmination of this. It took a while to get there and it took a while to produce. That video was a real slow burn, trust me, it was. I mean, look, there were even those fucking sunflowers in the thing at the beginning of the video. I mean, look, those sunflowers are non-existent. They are expired. They are more out of date than my nan. Nan? And if anything, that just shows how long I've been tumbling with this idea, perhaps subconsciously. Maybe me making that video throughout the latter half of last year and it taking so long was just me trying to swim through the ocean of Heineken back to myself. Anyway, enough self-indulgent rambling for now. Let's put, put a pin in that, put a pin in my emotional breakdown over the past six months or so and see like what does that actually mean for what is going to happen from here on out. Well, to be honest, I, I don't actually know. I, I don't know what that means for this channel at all. Um, I'm, ke I'm keeping it loose. No pressure on what the actual content will look like. All you need to know is that it will be video game related. I mean, what else is it going to be? What else am I going to do? You know, I, it's, it's the one thing in my life that is consistent and has always made me happy no matter what. So why not? pursue that once more. And that trailer I released is also a proof of concept, if you will. It's a, a statement of intent. I want to mix all that I know into producing a higher quality content than I've made before. You know, I've taken enough time out of my life to pursue things and then quit on them to, you know, have, have a good, a good base range of ingredients to kind of mush them all together and make something decent. Make a half decent cocktail of all the crap that I know, that I half know. Uh, hopefully that, that'll that will work. But that also might mean that any sort of consistent schedule may take a while to establish until I've completely ironed out the creative process. I mean, of course, I could churn out content like I did before, but for less than 10 views a pop, it's just not worth my time or yours. I mean, really, what the hell was I thinking with those videos? Why the hell was I trying to be Game Grumps? What the fuck was it? You know, it got to the point with those videos, with those gameplay videos that I was churning out in parts daily, that I wasn't even editing them, I wasn't even watching them all the way through, I just knew I had a 15 minute like cut off point. I'd cut the start and cut the beginning, f figure out where they were. I wouldn't edit them a little bit and move on, you know? I, I'm i a fucking nightmare, honestly. Anyway, thanks, uh, thanks for hearing me out, thanks for watching and thanks for sticking this out with me. There's been a massively positive reaction to the trailer I posted and while that might just be friends, family and people that have subscribed to me, um, it's still an indication that in some sense that style of video does resonate with people. So hopefully, hopefully I'm onto something. Uh, and if not, I'll just quit again. So uh, thank you and uh, keep them peeled. I'll be around for a little while, hopefully. Either that or I'll be swinging from the fucking banister of my own house.